Hello friends, welcome back to another topic, bisection method with python code. So here we will study how to find root of a function using bisection method. So initially we have to understand what is meant by root of a function. Root of a function f of x means the value or values of x for which f of x becomes 0. So in this graph, this f of x becomes at this x value. So this x value is the root of this function. And here in this graph, at three points, f of x becomes 0, means this minus 2 x equal to minus 2 x equal to 0 and x, x equal to 1 are the root of roots of the function. Here, we are going to find the root of a function using bisection method. Bisection method is one of the simplest method to find the root of a function in numerical methods. The backbone theorem behind the bisection method is, if a function f of x is continuous between the points a and b, and f of a and f of b are of opposite signs. f of a is here, f of a is negative and f of b is positive. So they are of opposite signs. Then there exists at least one root between a and b. That is, here exists at least one root between this a and this b. Here, this is the root. The method is here we reduce the root containing interval so small as that we need the accuracy. Here this is the interval, this delta x naught is the interval. We reduce this interval to a small interval that equivalent to our required accuracy. That is we bisect the interval, then find the root containing interval again from the two new intervals and proceed like this. This is one of the bisection animation. You can see bisecting the intervals. The steps of bisection method are like this. Initially, we assume a and b such that f of a and f of b are of opposite sign. Here, for the convenience, we assume f of a is negative and f of b is positive. You can take in reverse manner also. Then, the root lies between a and b. At least one root lies between a and b. Now, we bisect the interval, that is, we find x not equal to a plus b by 2 and check whether f of x not is positive or negative. If f of x not is positive, then f of x not and f of a are of opposite signs. That means now the root lies between this x not and a. So this bisecting or this bisection procedure continues till the interval reduces to our desired accuracy. Now we will see one example for the bisection method. Find one of the roots of the equation x q minus x minus 1 equal to 0 correct to four decimal points. We know for x, x q minus x minus 1 equal to 0, there will be three roots. So we have to find one of the roots. So initially, we find two points, a and b, for which f of a and f of b are of opposite signs. We select a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 3, such that f of a equal to f of 1 equal to minus 1, that is 1 q minus 1 minus 1 equal to minus 1. And 
f of b is equal to f of 3 is equal to 3 cube minus 3 minus 1 is equal to 23. That is f of a and f of b are of opposite signs. Now we bisect the interval. That is we find x naught equal to a plus b by 2 which is equal to 1 plus 3 by 2 is equal to 2. Then we check f of 2. f of 2 is equal to 2 cube minus 2 minus 1. That is 5. That is plus 5. So now the root lies between a is equal to 1 and x naught is equal to 2. So we now replace this b by x naught or the new points becomes a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 and this procedure or these steps continues until the interval is reduced to 0 0.0001 or less. So this is the table of iterations we did for the bisection method. Initially, we take A as 1 and B as 3 and we found x naught is equal to A plus B by 2 that is 2 and we check whether f of x naught is positive or negative. Here we get it is as positive value. So we replace this b value, this b value by this x naught value. So for the second step, a remains 1 and b becomes 2. Now we find the new x naught value. Again, we check whether this f of x naught is positive or negative. Here again, it is positive value. So again, we replace this b by this x naught. So the new a and b becomes 1 and 1.5. And again, we find this x naught and we check whether it is positive or negative. So here the f of x naught is negative. So we replace this a value by this x naught value. That is in the next step, a becomes 1.25, b remains 1.5 and proceeds like this until the interval. The interval means b minus a or the difference between a and b becomes less than four decimal points it means becomes less than 0 0.0001 here you can see that the difference between this a value and this value is less than four decimal points that is 0 0.0001 here 1.3247 here again 1.3247 so now by up to four decimal points we can say that the root is 1.3247 now we will see python code for bisection method we start with an infinite while loop, while 1. Then we input the assumed a and b values. Then we define the function. Then we check whether the inputted f a and b are such that f of a and f of b are of opposite signs. If they are of opposite signs we proceed else we will prompted no roots in the interval so enter another interval then again we are prompted to input the new a and b and proceeds so that is why this infinite while loop is given so if they are of opposite signs that is if they are of if f of a in the f of b is a negative, then we print the column headings. Then an i is initiated for number of steps. 
then we check the interval is greater than this desired accuracy if it is greater than this desired accuracy we proceed we bisect x equal to a plus b by 2 then we print the table of values the number of steps i then a then b then the x naught then the f of x naught then we increment the step then again we check the new obtained f of x into f of a is greater than zero that means if they are of opposite signs or, or they are of same sign here they are, if they are of same signs we replace x by a and if they are of opposite signs we replace b by x and finally when this interval is less than this desired accuracy this while loop is stopped and we get the root and we print the root so this is the simple bisection program in python so we can find the root of any function with any desired accuracy so this is the result of the python code these are the titles this is the number of steps these are the a values of each step b values of each step x naught values and f of x naught and finally the root is obtained as 1.3247 Thank you for watching.